We are a stronghold here, and a stronghold is a defense. A stronghold is a place that you could go to and, and, and have a defense set up, right? And, and you can be well protected. But you know what? Ultimately, the Lord is our stronghold. And that's why verse 7 says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. We want to represent the place where believers can gather together to trust in the Lord. Because the Lord is our stronghold. We want to have that, that physical presence here on earth as a stronghold for people who are, are zealous, for people who believe the word of God and want to live that life and want to do and serve the Lord. Hey, Come to Stronghold Baptist Church and be part of this stronghold, this outpost in this area of the world to serve the Lord. But you know what? We never can let that, that name or this building or, the, you know, be getting all of the glory. You know what? God is the stronghold. He's our defender. He's our protector. Turn, if you would, please, to Ephesians chapter number 6. We're going to get into some of the teaching now and just being strong in the Lord. We, we need to be able to stay the course. We need to be able to make sure that as much as God has blessed us, as much victories have been won already, that we can continue to stay in the fight, continue to move forward, because the Christian life has its ups and downs. And the longer you're in the life, the more you're going to see the ups and the downs. And the downs are going to make you want to quit. We need to stay the course. We need to stay, be strong in the Lord and get our strength from the Lord. And what we're going to see in Ephesians chapter 6 is the armor of God. And one thing I want to point out about the armor of God, about how we need to be equipped, about how we need to have our strength from the Lord, is the whole point of all the armor of God, and we're going to see this mentioned verse after verse, time after time, is to be able to stand. To be able to stand, to be able to stand, to be able to stand. It's not even to push forward and get on all these attacks and offenses. Just be able to stand. Be able to stand. Be able to stand on the word of God. Be able to stand for the truth. Be able to not be knocked down and continue progressing slowly forward, moving on. Onward, Christian soldiers. Steady pace moving forward. I love zeal. I love seeing people get excited. But you always have to just, in the back of your mind, be able to understand that you can never maintain, you know, pedal to the metal, full steam ahead, all the time of being super sold out, zealous. Oh, man, I'm going to spend this whole, I'm going to take a month off of work, and I'm going to go out every single day and preach the gospel. Hey, that's great, and God bless you, but you know what? It, there's going to be a point where you can't keep up an insane pace. And you may think, man, I've done all this work for God. But if you end up quitting and fizzling out because you've just ran yourself completely into the ground, you're going to end up having done way less than someone who has been consistent, faithful, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, putting in your time, just, just staying committed, and staying strong and keeping your strength in the Lord, that's a lifetime. That's a marathon. It's not just a sprint. Keep the end game in mind. We need to, yes, push ourselves. Yes, I love the challenges. Yeah, I want to be able to always try to do some more and get, get the most, to squeeze the most out as we can to, to, to serve God with. But don't jump in expecting all this change and then being able to maintain you know some crazy level 